Today I'm gonna to play with some angel molds. These are actually really pretty and they have a very slight pattern in them. So let's open this sucker up, fill it up with some resin and have some magic time. So I got a couple things going on. One is I've got some resin that I'm about to be out of my working time with and I need to hustle a little bit. The other part is, I don't know why I'm putting gloves on right now because <laughs> it's gonna be hard to get these things out. Okay. Uh, I also had some clear resin so I needed to mix it up and um, do something with it. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna need it for the previous project. Okay, come on. Work with me. Of course, things don't want to feel when you're in a hurry. Okay. So there's. I found these molds on Etsy. Actually, I have to backtrack a little bit. Uh, I saw another artist use these molds, and I liked them because they were very delicate, um, but also very symmetrical. And I don't know. There was just something about them. That I really liked. I'm gonna move them slightly. So you see the very fine lines that are kind of etched in there. So it's very subtle and I thought that they would work really well like in a tray. Just one little uh, layer um, and have a couple wings or multiple wings. So that's why I got them because I could see some possibilities. This is definitely not the case for dry painting. You could dry paint them still, um, but there's not a lot of texture in these guys because they have the edged area. Whoops, sorry, I bumped the camera there. Um, but I think the subtle part will come out when the mold is, or the resin is done and it's set. So, what I did with my clear resin is I mixed up some subtle colors. I've got some, uh, just a clear, so see how thick that resin is? I'm really getting close to my end of my working time. This is diamond dust. And then I've got some white mixed up. And then I've got two interference colors. I've got a gold haul and uh, a lilac. See, I gotta hustle. <laughs> And there's the, the, there's the lilac interference. So I thought I'd go subtle and what I was also got is, I also have, sorry, I got, I've got a purple. And what I'm thinking of doing is laying in the colors in here and adding the purple and sweeping it in from here out. But molds usually have a tendency like the first part you put on there it might make the impression, so I don't want to make the first impression be the purple. I want it to be the lighter colors. And hopefully I'm making sense. If you've seen a lot of um, geode pours, and then they peel them off, and sometimes they have like a definite circle, and a definite circle, and a definite circle, I don't want to have a definite circle of purple there. So, so I think I'm going to have... I'm going to start off with my... Uh, my Clear glitter. So I'm gonna definitely have a blob here. Uh oh, here goes that word definitely coming out in me again. So what I might have to do here is apply the resin and then heat it up and then start manipulating it around so I can get it working how I want it. Because right now it's like putting Play-Doh down. Wow. If anything, it's a good way to show you guys how to mess around with resin when it starts sitting up. Fun. Kidding, not fun. Okay. Is that? 
We get somewhat symmetrical. Maybe I should title this, Today I Play With Taffy. <laughs> All right. So this is, I'm gonna put the purple cluster. So this is my interference lilac. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm just running some lines in the direction that the feather feathers are going. That would be my Zoe. She is snoring up a storm. Oh my goodness. And push this one out a little bit more, just so it's somewhat similar. I think I might have more in this mold. definitely feeling like ah <laughs> okay this could be a comic adventure oh, look how thick this is okay hustling trying to hustle Now, resins is self-leveling uh, fluid, so after some time, it will settle down and uh, level out. Okay, get some white in here quickly. Did not follow my own advice and get some colors or resin out of a coat fast enough to mix it up in different colors. So that's probably what's going on here. You know, when you hear us talking about marshmallow fluff, that's that. It is possible to work with it. It just is not ideal. I just stuck my arm in it, which is, I'm making all the mistakes today. This is good. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. All right. All 
All right, let me try and heat this up a little bit and see if I can loosen it up before I do any purple. And if I can do any purple. If you saw the sharp edges, it kind of smoothed them out a little bit. So it tells you that it did work. Now, whether I could, let me stick. Some of those stick. Okay. Trying to go up into the molds a little bit more. So we actually have feathers. I'm not worried about filling up the mold completely as far as like up to the top, but what I would like to do is definitely have all the, the area space covered. In other words, from side to side, edge to edge, that kind of thing. Get some in there. Come on. And some in here. There we go. All right. All right. Is that good there? Now I'm gonna keep on moving moving this stuff. These are now called my tappy wings, I think. So I'm trying to always move in the direction of the feathers. So that way, if there's any lines that do appear, they're staying consistent. Meaning like mixing lines. Or not really mixing lines, I should say. Almost like marbling. Ah! <laughs> I can't let go of the stick. How are we doing on that side? That's looking pretty good. That is not looking good. Right. Let's see if I can get more in here. Sometimes touching the side is not enough. You have to pour, push more material in there. All right, let me heat that up one more time. Okay, that's already looking really pretty and very delicate. And I kind of like that. I think I've scrubbed the purple idea. And that's okay. Oh, I got another void. Okay, gravy. You hit it, the light. Uh, you know, you look at it. <laughs> can't pick up any cups anymore. They're all sticky. Let me have my stick. Thank you. This one was not up against the side, so I'm trying to push some more in there. There we go.
Let's go. Let's go. All right, last seat. Definitely take gloves off before I grab the phone today. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so this is overall, and then let me bring you in. This one's gonna be really interesting for the unveil. Hopefully those lines, because I pushed them through. Oh, is that a spot? Well, I think I just saw a spot right in there. I need to push it to the mold. But hopefully those lines will also translate to the bottom. Also got a bubble in the top wing on that part too. I may have to babysit this one. But I think it'll be really pretty. All right, until tomorrow. All right, so these guys are out of their molds. And you can see the pattern on the back side rather well. It's very subtle, but you don't have to use the pattern. So this is what I was talking about. When you pour in molds, that a lot of times the resin or the shape of the colors will usually be how you've poured them. It might move a little bit, but most in most cases are it, it kind of lands where it lands and you don't get any effects like you do when i was mushing moving it around with the um the stick now i was putting pressure all the way through to the base the bottom part but it was not moving the bottom part at all and this will give you a good idea as far as contrast so even though i was doing the same motion here this at the very bottom of it did not move. But if you like this side better, use it. If you like this side better, use it too. So what I could do, if I want it, is draw the lines of the feathers in here and keep going with this piece. So I wanted to show you two different ways that you can definitely pour. And if you did notice, I did get some bubbles. I was expecting that could be an issue. These were at the bottom of the mold. 
and that was because that resin you saw it was so thick I was like literally pushing it in there but on the top it's not so bad so those are it's a nice flat surface so that's not much of an issue on the top part but it's just on the bottom and I was expecting that so just one way of working with the uh, resin when it gets a little thicker All right, guys, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. Later, y'all.